Well, a couple people asked for it. I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at it. And even though I'm in the middle of another project, it's like, ah, let's, let's see what it's all about. It's adorable. Right now, I think it's only on mouse and keyboard, which is kind of a shame. And there are some bugs that they're working on fixing and some quality of life stuff they already have on a list based on uh, negative feedback. I did see some issue with people like, it's hard to sleep and I guess the game, the day's too long. And I guess they're gonna work on that. I have no basis for this. There's a little kitty butthole down here. That's, that's something. The uh, audio was already dialed down, so I think we're probably in a pretty good place. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll tweak it as we go along, as I always do, because I'm paranoid. And uh, yeah, let's, let's learn about bear and breakfast. <coughs> the art's fabulous. I would have liked to have seen that a bit more, but I guess my SSD had other ideas. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. I just... Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air, and there was no one there. Everything fell dark and silently, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep's overrated. Hello? I can't move. There's a bear unstuck command for that. Do not. Don't what? See? That's already happening. Uh, it's kind of a shame he talks. Move. Can't do that either. Oh, are you, you are the tutorial, huh? Well, that's convenient. I can diagonal. God, I haven't wasted in a while. Find? You mean like an introspection thing? Got little marks on his butt. I see little clouds. Bed. Can't go more to the right. Oh, there's a bed. Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. This is darker than I imagined it being. I mean, Jesus, it's just a tutorial. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-huh, don't. You're not great at making your mind up. I agree, Hank. This guy needs to get his shit together. Wake. No, oh, no, it's the spooky eyes again. Oh. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. That's always sound advice. Depends on what dumpling, though. For the third time, Hank! For the love of God! Uh-oh. Better go see what's up. Hank, that's not how beds work. I'm gonna need an animation there, or something. Sleep is overrated. The doors could use a little more. I mean, I guess I'll get used to that. Boy, there's a lot of crap cluttered around in here. The hell, Ma. I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. <laughs> little pouty face. Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, I'm in a room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, honey. Oh, I guess I'll go wake him up. Yeah, we already learned how to talk from the creepy death monster. Hi. Good. Get out. Morning! Out. It's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. <laughs> I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell them a mile away. 
Delightful, both of you. <laughs> it's on the docket today, boss. Digging a new hole. Next to the other holes. Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. And we never get to do fun stuff anymore. A good old visit to the dumpster. I'm not allowed past the fence anymore, blushy fans. Ties, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we don't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> okay, Will is my spirit animal, and I love him. A nice little hobbit house. Hey, kids, over here. This is surreal. Get your digging claws ready, here it comes. Coming! Uh -huh. Adventure mode. What is denim anyway? Kidding. Go away. Logger tools, huh? It feels a little loud. Bring it down. That looks better on the bar. I mean, I want to be able to hear the music, but I don't want to compete with it, you know? Because I can't, I can't win against music. I can't win against organized sound. What's up, Mom? Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? Good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today's a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right, point me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. The bush around the tombstone's getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, adventure, sure. Adventure. Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. The notebook. But don't lose it again. Who won't? He will. He will. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yeah, Ma. Got the notebook, which is a collectible item that you use to keep track of your collectibles. I can't read what that says. Son of a bitch. Down to Black Moss, through the thick, past the fence. I haven't been able to pick anything up yet. I'm a little disappointed. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what I'd do with a tree stump, but I was told I could pick things up. Where's my hateful little bird? Black Moss, eh? The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Strong, uh, We Bear Bears vibes. A little darker than that, though, but they got pretty weird sometimes. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Corellian dog, brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even grumpier on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to fall under too far on an adventure fashion. I promise. What? No, that's crazy. Feels late already. All right, gang, spread, spread out! I like the dog. She's adorable. Oh, it's, it's poopy water. Okay. There you go, Will. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothered them about not flying. I'm literally walking here. Jesus. Will stayed up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. Don't know. Fell asleep halfway through. Tire screech. That's not how you spell tire. What in the what? I heard it too. We better go. We haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. I'm going back. You know what? 
I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed, and we haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. You idiots. Wasn't I picking up gator weed when the tire thing happened? Sure felt like I was. That's a big rock. It's so dark. Ludicrously dark, even. Timber crossing. I was told I would be running a bed and breakfast. Pawn voyage. Investigate the loud noise. The luxurious outhouse. Sure is. Stuff I can pick up. Take all. Missing is a picnic basket. I hope I sniff out something good today. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. Show it who's boss. Sorry, what now? The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. The little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck and blurting out nonsense that reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car with a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Good to know. Nothing to lose, nothing to... Yeah, we know about that. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing. Escape. Electrifying enterprise. Someone in there? You there, fine gentleman. In the uh, orange coat. I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pawn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. <laughs> what the? Offering secured touristry, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. I don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't have any expensive or a heirloom. Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. <laughs> Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises, by force if necessary, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans? To live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here, they're just tourists. We've seen this before. Humans wander around where Sharkboard tells them. They stare at the trees, try to forget whatever they're running from. D I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pawn Voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to minimum standard, which frankly, Frankie, no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. I heard that shark rider. I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was the humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans? I've barely seen one in months. <laughs> That's more than enough. Hello. Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and Spoil Sports' cheerful attitude. <laughs> I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just said. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shock we're in. Or just use any broken down shed, they're all abandoned anyway. 
Okay. Press the green button. Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you've been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement by using your fingerprint identification from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. Aim suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button on my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? I used to look at pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile. They get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother Tony. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Uh, do two additional options. Sleep the night. Show the walls. Oh. Oh, I want to show the walls, because that's horrifying otherwise. Thank you, tutorial. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. Okay. You had a you had an exclamation point. Go to sawdust. I guess the sun's coming up. What about the gator weed? Weren't we supposed to go right back? Hank. Hank, you shit in your pants here. So we'll be fixing that. I need a sprint button. Where is my stamina bar? the options right there. That's handy. Busted washing machine. Or wood. Just, just take it. That's why I clicked on it. I can't get to it. A bunch of metal. Oh. Tony the Beaver. Alright, Tony. I gotta pick up more of your shit. He takes more stuff. Gimme. All the stuff. Gimme all the stuff. Cause you're gonna make me come get it anyway. God, I hope I don't break the game doing this. That sounded like a really big snake. I got a bear! Just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk! I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We gotta... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of points? Actually, my friends and I were wondering... An oak spoon? I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's the shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, a redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well. I haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For, for humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, naughty frames, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all this. Whoa. You make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack and timber crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, and oh, a couple stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow! Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Aha. 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 Why not simply punch the trees? Ah! Look at all that. Oh, I just needed the plywood. He said he needed a saw and shit, though. Okay, well it did... Oh, more stuff. Want. It's a good noise. I like that noise. Anything else up here? Another mushroom? Oh, hi! There's mushrooms out there they say can give you the worst nightmares. I could sure go for some right now. That's that's great, Sabine. You're fun. I wanna hang out with you. Have a nice day, I guess. Good luck with the mushrooms. Whatever tree this big could fit. Okay, Tony, I got all kinds of stuff. What is this? Oh, quests. Help the little help. So, did you find all the wood? I got it right here. Yep, I got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a good job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Now I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. I guess I'll walk back there slowly. Oh, do we get to watch you go the whole way? That would be exhilarating. Meet Tony in Timber Crossing. Just you try and stop me, you scumbag. It's like you try and stop me from picking up more random crap on the ground, putting it in my, uh, my pockets, I guess. It's traveling. That's a penalty. Okay, so we're back. Tony? Tony? Tony, where are you, my god? Yes, all of that is wonderful. We're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you have to clean the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. It's full of wood. Why did I bring your wood? I could have just picked up this wood. Four valuables. Where is my inventory? like everything. Did you clean up the shed? Uh, I, I think I did. Nope. Great. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. What? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it wake. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Uh, you can repair objects with required materials, work benches to build crap the area. Monuments will improve the status of gas. Passages will be cleared. Bridges. They're very, very graveyard keeper. Ooh, more wood. Alright, uh huh. Nice. You can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Did you get that work bench fit? Yes. Like brand spanking new. It's good, but don't don't spank it, Hank. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. Baby's first building. Excuse me, you have plenty of time to get better. Now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They'd much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Yeah, this is one of those things, but it'll... None of those things, but it'll do. 
is the shop. Shabby pallet bed recipe. Go make one at the workbench. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Comfort and hygiene. Uh-huh. Okay. Bed. I have all of these things. Give me the bed. And then I'm done. Okay. Move tree. Pick up the trash. Jesus. Bugs. Be able to make that bed. Let me think about it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't like space bar being the skip. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent! You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. I'll hurry along, put it to good use. Make a bedroom, put the bed in it. Uh, use the workbench to build it. Okay. Uh, um, build room? Comfort room? Comfort room. Good job for two by three. Minus button. Add more with the add doors button. Well, I didn't get the first door in there because I'm a potato. Okay. Try that again. I was trying to rotate it. Mandatory objects. Grab furniture. R. Turn the building. The room panel. Okay. There we go. Yay, we did it! I think. Boom! Cost 60 valuables. Where can I see my valuables? I have 190 valuables. And, oh. oh, no, actual coins. Valuables is just junk. So, are you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage, weird. Alright, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So I need to make them feel welcome. By putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah, yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward. Okay. Front desk recipe. Have you made it? Put it down in the shed, and then it's time to rake in the dough. Uh huh. Inventory. Uh, put items. Decorate place anywhere. Room specific must be placed. You cannot just have a toilet out in the field. Stuff. There we go. Front desk recipe. I just need four of my pine wood planks. Make the build. Huzzah! We've done it. To place the front desk. It's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever. There's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Shocky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. You got anything? Uh, dog named Marley. Fair enough. Who are you? 
be a bus sign. Where am I gonna get a bus sign? Nothing to... Yeah, yeah. Green button. Oh, we'd like to have some humans. Congratulations! Your premium property is now listed on the network. Time has come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would have a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. Bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Uh-huh. My resorts. Uh-huh. 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 Which guess what demands for the rooms? Uh-huh. Repairing monuments. What do, what do you have for me? Don't I have a shabby wooden bed? Don't I have all of these? Work road. Post. Uh, well, wait. I probably don't need to get it just yet. Accept your first guest. It's so late at night, though. We've been gone for two days, guys. One bedroom, has some comfort, has some decoration, no reviews yet. Eldred Mario wants to come, he wants more decoration. Ah, hell with him. He can have that one. He will arrive tomorrow morning at Timber Crossing. That, is that it? What about the gator we were supposed to take back to mom? Is that... is that important? I guess this is what I mean by having to wait around. Well, I can snooze here, so... And then it'll be morning and then Mario will be here. In theory. And there's more wood. lurking about the area. Hmm. Well, he's kind of walled off. Right? How are people going to get in here? Okay, stop. Trying to walk away. The hell are you? All those busted windows. Maybe I can make a gift shop here. Hang out with trash, you start to smell like garbage. Rich and appetizing. Good stuff. Can't open this yet. Nice. I'm an old sofa. Where the hell's Mario at? Ooh, stuff. Sandwich. Hello there, bud. Aren't you a good-looking one? Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I like your hair. Soft bear noises. 
Oh, what a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver, and I run the buses here, if it wasn't evident. Ha! Look at me, of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus, do you? Do you take the bus? What's a bus? Skeptical bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust and give this to Beanie for me? Usually hangs out the Fire Watchtower. I don't see why I couldn't. I have your stuff. Well, he was nice. Is there a map? It's this. Let's get a look at these. I don't think I could handle the bus life. It's fair. I mean, it's very demanding. Logger tools for that. Okay. Um, oh. That. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, it didn't tell me to do that, so I didn't. That's fine. That probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands, as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue the technology has not been able to solve yet. Eh. Oh, the bear stash. I mean, I seem to have lots of room. Okay, so now what? Alert, alert. Looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. I don't... Prestige! Well, decoration level of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It's ugly. Looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential, ornamental furniture, and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level before return. I guess I will buy one of these. Okay, we got it. We got it. Mario, get the bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh Old crafting. I want so I have shabby pallet bed. I guess I could. Oh, I guess I can. I can get a wooden bed. Okay. Um, functional for decorative. There we go. So we have the wooden footrest recipe. So they will give me more of the requirements I need. <clears throat> I don't know if my room's big enough for it. I mean, can they even get in? How do I edit this room? say to get rid of a room. Yeah, I get that it's a room bedroom. I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't want to kick him out. I just want to... Oh, whatever. Go away. Oh, 
Let's try that. That looks better. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Now it's a 10-7. Host kicked me out. No reason supplied, no money back. Don't go there. Wait. I thought it said I was going to give them their money back. Let's go to Sawdust. Give Bernie their letter. I think he shred to prestige level two. What prestige level is it at? Prestige level one. Decoration stores across a resort. Uh-huh. Increase the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects have a decoration score. Okay. Well, I need more valuables. Or I need more coins, rather, to make a better bed. Let's go wander around. Let's go find Beanie. Said like they knew the Firewatch Tower. Sabine! Yeah, that makes sense. I don't believe we've met yet! How'd you end up here? With my feetsies. <laughs> Burbling bear noises. Good! Physical activity is always a great idea! Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Just... Oh yeah, then what am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use practice. Now I feel bad, I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> I'm just yoking ya! What's a big softy like you doing all the way out of here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's a... Uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like, um... Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel, but I understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He'd barely gotten his driver's license and a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Oh, nice. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster, will it? Area map view. Oh, that's lovely. I'm a big fan of that. There's a destroyed couch? So it is. Sweet. Alright, nice. There's a lot of good stuff here in Sawdust. I mean, it's dark. I might as well fart around until I can go to sleep. Wood. 
I'll need the fabric for beds, presumably. It seems awfully dark to not be able to sleep. I do, I do see the criticism. No, you have to keep playing. Well, it's dark and I can't see anything. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. crack I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, Hank. Saw another wood over here somewhere. Oh, it's hiding. It's secret wood. <clears throat> Is Oliver still awake? Kind of late. Else is here. On voyage, bunch of wood, bunch of wood. Where that is. Oh, you have a quest. Whoa there, big fella. Where'd you come from? I live here. Where'd you come from? All right, enough with the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Slop? Scrap? Rubble? No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me have a look in the dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, uh, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Though I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from there. Find me a snack and we can talk. I have a sandwich. Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. It's all I could find. Mm, just like Mom used to make. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. Uh-huh. A raccoon who sells garbage for stuff I find on the ground. Oh, there's my decorative objects. A small bear painting. Oh, well, we need a welcome mat. A uh, potted plant, probably. Small geometric rug. Bear painting, of course. Uh, small nightstand. An oil light. Look at the flower base. Wait, what else do you have? One stop for decorative objects. Took, accepts valuables of currency, world littered with them, literally. Left guestly behind garbage, you can collect and buy decorative objects from Took. Thank you. Oliver, oh, do you... How come I ain't seen you around here before? Well, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. Impressionable and stupid. It was only magazines and pamphlets, no bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not going to snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of any humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyway, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. Probably make a few folks pissy in the process. Listen. I get plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. Especially Slim Pickens if we don't get any of the rich-looking guy. They dump the best junk. 
Tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for me, for him, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? I used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I'm a raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop? Okay. The little travel kiosk. Oh, there he is. He's eating what's left of his sandwich. Back already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? She called you a weasel. Barely legible bear noise. Oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear, sorry. So, what'd she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all this out with her was the most fun I've ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's Sawdust and High Lake, and look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, you probably don't even know what I'm all about. This valley's huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time, but with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are. If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Bus signs. Awesome. Look, the first one's right there next to the shed. How about it, then? Sure thing, pal. Uh, world map view. Uh huh. You can see where you've discovered. Good stuff. Good stuff. Getting through the tutorial land. I got all this stuff. Go for it. I can fast travel back here. Okay, I have another human. I need a new human. Oh shit. I think. It, oh, I hope I didn't break the game. <laughs> Hello again, child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have a very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Oh, uh, well... Oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of Timber Crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallelpiped. A rectangular what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did the shed, and that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, as usual, my son. Student! Yes, that's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clean the place out of the rubble, then we'll go building. I, I did that. So all clean? Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get it all together. I need a bit of human literature. I got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one on his little bus shack. Great treasure hunt. Take your time. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. I got a ding? I heard a ding ding. That means someone wants to... Four guest requests. You have low standards. Where's, where's my bedroom? It's a 10-7. Hmm. So you don't need as much comfort, but you need more decoration. Hmm. You look like you have more money. Why don't you come? Come! Okay, and then we need to, we need to put some of our decorations in. I sh should I build another room yet? Or should I let it... Huh. Um, hmm. You can have a little bear painting. Boop. And a small potted plant.
nice. Ah, our prestige is going up, going up in spades. Um, hey, we made it to level two. Sweet. Now we can get some money. Okay, so we got ten bucks. I did the thing. Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. I did it. Looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Okay. Pen on a string. I'm gonna go get the book from the thicket. There's the bus stuff, there's the bus stuff. I'm just gonna rummage around in his room? Oh yeah, sure. Thanks, Ollie. Oh, I repaired the bus stop here. Give me more stuff. Did you get the bus stop fixed? Yes, I did. Approving bear noises. That's great news, bud! Aww. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. I like Oliver. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen bologna. A strange pair that lived in a peculiar harmony. <laughs> Stealing the sandwich. That's great. That's, yeah. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of those stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. And boo, I'll drive you there anytime. Okay. Bus stations, do, 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 do. bus post found in Oliver's shop, among other oddities and progression items. Bus site. Logger tools! Oh, we need a bunch of money. Then I can fix the potty. Probably need to fix the potty. I should have everything I need to fix another bus stop, though, so we should. Oh, is this. Oh, I can. Can I. Oh. So I can see the thicket, but I can't travel there. Of course, there's no bus stop to the thicket. Ah, I'm gonna need to work on spelling from the thicket. Probably check in with mom. I think I saw something that's like if you're out of money, you can go back and mom will give you another, give you like some minis. Is there stuff in here? Like lootables? Wood piles. Charcoal lilies. Twiggy. If I can get to them. There's a bridge over there, it looks like. This place is spooky. Even during the day, it's kind of rough. We'll look on our way back. Is there anything here, or is it just... Just Margaret. I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby. I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Well, I can help you out, but you have to promise to be more careful next time. Nice. Do you want the gator weed or something? Too much food makes you sleepy, too little makes you dumb. I guess we just don't care about the gator weed. Uh, Will's stack of books. That's a nice rug. I think I need the logger tools to get through this. Oh, okay. And then that'll lead deeper into the woods. Alright. I think we'll fix up the shed, and then we'll probably call it a day, but I want to see what's in the swamp. I love the screen transition art. Oh, the bridge is all busted. Okay, well, I guess we're not doing anything here.
So if I fill, rebuild the bus stop in sawdust, I can go get more wood there. Were you able to find everything? I did. Oh yes, yes! This is everything I need. Everything? Yeah, it won't like take long. Job. Just like new. Huh. Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Logaria. Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and uh, put in a good word with the big cheese. All right, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Why, right, take this gator weed back to her. Eh, it took's garbage, has new stuff. <laughs> Hank, Hank, where are you? I'm over the garbage, what? What's wrong? <laughs> Hank, where you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony. He taught me how to find some lumber, then we made a bed for humans. And where'd you find the alligator weed? Oh, no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. We also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yeah? Mom! <laughs> there it is. Like, we had to go back to the house. That's the pacing's a little weird. Oh, my gosh, we gotta go home. We gotta go home. Completing quests, more stuff for sales and shops, blueprints, cooking recipes only be bought one time. Something they will disappear from the shop. That's fine. Alright, I'll go talk to mom. She'll yell at us. We'll do that next time though. Then maybe we'll come back and we'll build another nice little room since we got a little more money. We got all kinds of crafting stuff. Some electronics even. Wait, can I I can sell electronics for 350 bucks? Tempting. Very tempting. Anyway, uh, I'm digging it. It's We're kind of stuck in tutorial hell still, but I think we're just about out of it. So uh, I'll see you guys next time, and we'll, uh, we'll do some more bear and breakfast. Maybe we'll get a guest that I don't have to kick out because I fucked up their room. Although apparently I didn't mess up the room. I just needed to put more random crap, which is different from furnishings. But I'm glad I did it anyway. I'm going to just rub my nose on it. Dig it. Until next time. I just like stuff like that.